uh, him and his wife uh, were out in Montana. They uh, loved a uh, uh, brew pub called the Kennel House. And, uh, it's very much like this, uh, where it's a couple mainstay beers and then a, really uh, a lot of like revolving taps. So we can get really creative with the beer. Uh, so he wanted to move back to Minneapolis. And they did, but um, it wasn't legal. Uh, it wasn't legal at all. This is before this early bill. Um, so he had a business plan ready to go, and they said he couldn't do it. So a couple years went by, and the early bill got passed. And now um, his dream began. So uh, yeah, it's it's a big transition. We're the first uh, tap room brewery um, in Minnesota, and uh, we're util he's utilizing that law um, to. Uh, that's, is there a story behind Dangerous Man? Uh, yes. Uh, he was at um, an after, like, it was after a big wedding with one of his friends, and they were staying at one of their friends' house, and he was all hungover and just looked gnarly. And uh, the little girl that lives there was like, saw him like on the couch, like passed out and freaked out and went like, "Mom, mom, there's a dangerous man in the house," and they, like stuck with him all weekend. And, that's kind of where that came. What do you think is unique about Minnesota breweries? Or the beards. The beards. <laughs> the beards. Oh, the beards. <laughs> beards. Got it. Yeah. Got it. There's a beard culture here. It translates well to good beer for some reason. It's just better with beer. As far as the Twin Cities go, there's just a lot of really high quality, locally sourced businesses, whether it be here or. Any number of restaurants around.